Heather here from the Hubert Education Team, and today we're going to show you how to assemble the double-sided serving cart. We do have this shown here in the box. The first thing we're going to do in order to get started is just to take the lid off. Okay, and then next thing we're going to do is take down all of the sides. and then remove any of the packaging from the outside that helps keep it from getting damaged in transit. On the back side of the double-sided serving cart is where they house the top to it, so we are gonna take that off and also set that aside. Also in the back of it is where they keep the box that's full of all the components, the nuts and the bolts and the wheels that you'll need to put together the cart. All right, so typically when we put the wheels on the cart, we like to lay it on its back. So what we'll do is lay it on its back so we can get to the uh, screws underneath. So your wheels and all your other components are housed in the box that we pulled out of the back. So. so you should have the doors for your breakfast cart, your the tubing, or the tubing. Yep. These are the casters. And finally, the side shelf for the end of the car. And as well, you should have some instructions inside the box. So we're gonna need those. So now that we've got all our components laid out, we'll start by putting the wheels on. And typically, you can use a wrench or a ratchet with a 14 millimeter socket or a 14 millimeter ratchet. So we'll lay out our parts out here to make sure we have everything. So obviously you should have four wheels. And you should have a bag of bolts as well. So when we put these together, typically the wheels, uh, you should have two uh, locking casters. And we recommend putting them on opposite corners, one in the front and one in the back. All right, so Jay, you'll need Four of these. Get those out. So we always pre-fed your bolts, so that way you don't uh, get one in there the wrong direction. Is that locking? Yes. Okay. Get all these started. Sometimes you might have an extra couple bolts, no fear. Now Jay will hand tighten all of those to make sure they're uh, good and snug. All right, so now that you got them hand tightened and then tightened down with a wrench or a ratchet, We'll sit it back up on its wheels. And then if you like, you can remove all the packing that you had around it. And then we can get started with the rest. So now you're at a point where you want to put the top on. So you need to locate your, uh, your tubing that goes down inside. 
as well as the set pins and the Allen wrench that comes with it. Each of the tubes have little notches on it to tell you how high you want your card and to make sure both of them are equal, as well as an arrow sign pointing down so you know which end to put into the uh, base of the card. So you set those in there like that. And then in the back, you'll be able to see where to put the set screws to hold both of these in place. I would also recommend when you're putting this together, you'll turn the notches outward so as you're putting the top down, you're able to see how many and be able to tighten it in. So after you set the posts in the hole, you're gonna have to tighten these screws, the set screws here with the supplied Allen wrench. So now Lori and I will take the top and get ready to put it down. put the top in. Then they've been provided with two set screws that go inside to hold the top to whatever height you'd like to hold it. So you can start there where you want it. But then you can count how many uh, how high you'd like the cart. And so we'll set this to we'll set it to the number 10. And this can be adjusted per height of how many or what, what grade of kid level you have. So if they're high school kids, typically you can raise it up higher. If it's for maybe junior high and elementary, you might want to lower the top down so they can reach baskets and stuff like that on top. So we set it on 10, should be level. And then obviously tighten these down nice and tight as moving down the hallway might uh, make the top slide down a bit. So if you tighten them down good and tight, should be in good shape. Next, we'll put the drain in. We'll unscrew the locking nut all the way. Set the drain inside and then just tighten it back up from underneath. All right, so now we're gonna put on the side shelf. It's a collapsible side shelf. And so you'll see that there is a brace and a bracket that comes with the cart. And typically they're already put together. So what you'll do is you'll take the brace and you should have Phillips head screws already ready for you. And you'll also need a Phillips head screwdriver as well. So on the shelf, the nuts are already welded into the cart. So what you'll need to do is simply find the bracket, make sure the top flange is facing out and on the bracket facing in, and go ahead and tighten these desks. And while I'm doing that, Jay and Lori will go ahead and peel the protective coating off. You'll notice a little black ring that comes with the shelf. That's basically a grommet to put in the cutout here. Uh, number one, if you're going to carry it by that when you're moving this and transport, it keeps you from getting cut. But also that'll keep the uh, wires that you're running down through the shelf from getting cut as well. So now that we finished tightening the brackets onto the cart, we want to use a 10 millimeter socket or wrench and a Phillips head screwdriver to make sure all of these are nice and tight. So we'll finish doing that. 
and then we'll put your shelf on. So after we've got that done, you'll take the shelf and typically have somebody help you with this and set it up on there. They provided the screws that you need. So underneath the nuts are already welded into the shelf. So you'll put that on and tighten them down. So now that we've got it all, all the screws put in, we want to make sure it works correctly. So you lift up, make sure it drops down nice and smooth. And then we obviously want to make sure that when we pick it back up, drop it in, it stays nice and tight. So that looks good. Now you want to make sure that you tighten the bolts all up. While he's doing that, we'll get the doors for the back out here. you got the doors out we're gonna go ahead and turn the cart around so you can see how the doors go on and we'll go ahead and take it off the uh, concrete or off the uh, cardboard all right so this is the back of your cart all right there as you can see you have an open well on the back to store things put some extra uh, servings uh, you know just a great place to keep stuff to keep restocking throughout the day. And you'll just slide these up into the track. sure the one with the lock goes in the front track the one with the out the lock goes in the back keys to unlock the door or it just won't go together. All right, so now your doors are installed. Want to make sure they work and lock properly. Push in on the lock and turn the key like so. Okay, so now that we've got our cart and our doors put together, we are ready to possibly merchandise this cart the way that you'd like it. You can certainly do something to the front of your cart with a, a custom magnet panel that simply just is a large refrigerator magnet. And you'll place that in place and then smooth it out nice and smooth. And you're almost there. So for ideas on how to merchandise your car, make it really stand out and be attractive in the hallway, uh, certainly reach out to hubert.com forward slash education team or give us a call and we'll be certainly glad to help you finish it up. And I uh, hope this was helpful and have a great afternoon. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.